Right, welcome back to another video. So if you missed the last video, basically what I'm doing is I'm basically going on a mission to get everything back that I wasted trying to kill the Wither. And then once I've got everything back again, I can actually go and kill the Wither because I have a plan. And yeah, I've had multiple plans in the past that failed miserably, but this one won't. This is a fail-proof plan. So I've just got to continue getting everything that I need. So currently I've got 24 diamonds, which is what I'm going to need for a full set of armor when I go back down there. I've got 43 iron. Actually, no, I've got way more than that. I've got some gold for some gold golden apples. I already have two golden apples. Oh yeah, and I checked the comments. I thought it was easy to enchant golden apples. I just thought it was like enchanting anything else, but I checked the comments and it turns out you can't enchant golden apples. Golden apples is gonna have to be enough. And I want the phantoms to come out as well because I need to fix my elytra. But yeah, this village is a... Ooh, dog. Do I have bones? Maybe you could give me some. Yes! I've already got a name tag on me. Oh, but I can't can't use it because I've not got an anvil. Right, I'm going to go home now because I've got a lot of important stuff on me that I just want to put back. And then I can work on getting my other stuff like I need Totem of Undyings and stuff like that. So let's go. What, what, what shall his name be? I think I'll call him Lucas. Okay, let's make our way back home and secure the diamonds. We've only got about 3,000 blocks to travel. Rocky numbers compared to what I've done before. Remember, I, I ran eight, what was it, 7,000 blocks and then I realized I was going in the wrong direction direction. Also, when I get back, I think I'll make a grave for Mr. Netherpig, the OG Mr. Netherpig that died in the last video. He got murdered in the village by an iron golem. Oh yeah, and while I'm on the way back and I've not really got anything to talk about, I wanted to speak about the new Minecraft series that I'm going to be starting next week. I'm still going to be doing this one, but I'm also going to be starting a new Minecraft series. I'm not going to tell you what it is until I actually post it, but it's going to be a bit different to this. It's still going to be survival. It's going to be on a different world and it's going to be difficult. Yo, two-headed pig. Oh, I, I didn't know they attacked animals for you. They attack anything that I attack? Right, the sun's going down. We're going to have to make it through the jungle. Okay, Lucas, the mobs are going to be out any time now. Go on, Lucas. Oh, no, we can't let him take damage. Oh, no, we are running out of food, actually. Okay, we've got to build, we've got to build a little house. Basically, just got to cook some food while I'm in here. Ah, the phantoms are out. Nice. Not that I can fly back with it because I've got my new dog. I don't even have an anvil to fix it till I get back anyway. Oh, it looks like the sun's coming up as well. Has it really been that long? Oh, wandering trader. What do you want to offer me today? What the hell is this shit? Oh, right. While I'm here, actually, I'll get some flowers for uh, Mr. Netherpig's grave. How does it feel to get slapped with some cooked pork chop, motherfucker? I'm sure we'll find some other flowers on the way back. Now, I'm really, really, really hoping that I can run into a pillager tower on the way back. If I can't, though, I've got a new plan to get Totem of Undyings. Apparently, pillagers spawn back at the same pillager tower, which I don't know if that's true or not, or it might it might be true, but it might only be on the Java version. So I don't know if that's the case for Bedrock. I've never seen them spawn back at the same place, but I don't know. I guess I'll try it. That could have ended very badly, but because of my Minecraft skill, it didn't. Thanks for the boost, Phantom. Okay, Lucas, we've made it. We're home. Oh, there it is. Look at that. The beautiful lit up village. That view never gets old, does it? Lucas, meet Ollie. Those fa- The Phantom's really trying to get through the windows. Let's just put one of the name tags in the anvil. Lucas and Ollie. Okay, anyway, we made it back with di- Oh yeah, we've already got seven diamonds. I forgot. So that's enough for my new sword that I'm going to make to put smite on it. We've got 64 iron. Let's put some- uh, Let's put the rest in the blast furnace. I'll put the golden apples away as well for now. And what I'm going to do- while it's night time is get those membranes. Oh, there's four out. Okay, this this is good. The annoying thing about killing these is that when you attack them, they go straight back up and they don't come down for like another minute. Oh, nice one. Yes. I didn't get one though, did I? That one didn't give me one. Oh no, I did, I got three. I got three. Yeah, there we go. We can fix it now. There we go. Fixed elytra. Brand new. Only problem is we don't have any rockets. I've got two rockets. How do you make rockets again? You need sugar cane. I forgot. Okay, well, I don't need it just yet. But I'm going to go to that other pillar's tower because if they spawn back, I can do a few raids. Stack up the totems. I think the last thing I need is the totem of undying. So hopefully the pillar just do spawn back here. Although I will admit the tower isn't exactly uh, there anymore. I did blow it to pieces. The only thing that's left of it is that. I mean, the roof is still there. 
So is that enough for them to spawn back? I guess I'll just hang around this area and see what happens. So it does say that they do respawn. It says they spawn and respawn around the pillager tower. I just, I don't know if this counts as a pillager tower anymore. Maybe they spawned in the jungle. Jung oh, wait, there's sugarcane. Oh, and here as well. If the pillagers don't spawn back, at least I've got this. He didn't drop one. Ah, there we go. Okay, how many have we got? Three. Come on, one more. <gasps> Wait. There's a, there's a pillager over there. Wait, maybe once I kill... Maybe this is a lost one that I didn't kill last time. And now that I've killed him, they'll spawn back. Yeah, that might be why they haven't spawned back. Because, look, they're still alive. I'm sorry, Mr. Underwater Zombie. I'm sorry. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Nice one, Phantom. You pussy. Okay, either way though, that's good news. We found some pillagers. Let's go back to my hut that I built. I guess because they don't spawn in the tower, they spawn around it. Maybe the tower doesn't even need to exist anymore. There we go, we can repair both now. Alright, here's what I'll do. I'll go back home, and then I'll re-enter the area later. See if they're back or not. Anyway, let's uh, repair this elytra. Nice. Two elytras. Oh wait, I forgot I need gunpowder. So, do I have to just kill creepers to get rockets? I've only got 11. Oh, that's not going to get me very far, is it? Doesn't look like any of them. <gasps> they did! Did they spawn or am I seeing things? I... Oh no, I think I'm seeing things. I think it was these, wasn't it? Right, let, let me just get a slow-mo on that. Although it's not really going to help because I'm going to be doing it after I've done recording. Pretty sure I just saw some f***ing pillagers, but I think it was those donkeys. Well, I guess we'll keep going. This never gets old. Just gliding like over... Because like, I always, I'm always thinking, how long would this take me if I had to walk? Wait, okay, wait, here's a village and there's a creeper. I need your gunpowder, my friend. Well, there's my shovel gun. From this height, I should be able to see any pillager tower. It looks like there's another... Yeah, there's another village there. I'll tell you one thing. I can't be asked to look for them. Especially without... An, with an elytra, it's not that bad. But they don't last long. And I've only got three more rockets. Well, last rocket. Let's try and land near this ocean. Hopefully, the sugar cane, I can make some paper. Oh, sugar cane, yeah. Six rockets. No, 18 rockets. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow, you only have to kill like a few creepers to get a decent amount of rockets. Well, I guess we'll uh, continue the flying. What the f- What?! The Elytra's almost dead already. Mate, I've been using it for about two minutes. I, I'm just so shocked at that. Like, I knew it died quickly, but not that quickly. That's bullshit. <laughs> Used your own man against you. Where are we going? I've got a new Elytra on me. Where are we going? No, I don't have a new Elytra on me. Fuck it, we'll go this way. Just, just give me a f pillager tower. All right, I'm gonna skip this, I think, because no one wants to see me fly around talking. Um, I'm just gonna wait till I find a pillager tower, and then I'll, you know, record again. Well, no, I'm gonna record the whole thing. When the action picks up again, I'll uh, start putting it in the video. Throw back to the turtle bridge that I built. Still got a bit of a life left, but I sort of want to keep it for the way back, so... So my audio decided to stop recording for no reason, but basically I, my life is pretty much dead. I still haven't found a pillar to tower and yeah, but I'm going to use the remaining bit of health I've got in it. Isn't that funny though? I, re I repaired both of them to full health and now they're both gone already. Okay, no, we've got to stop here. We've got to stop just because it's going to die any minute. If I'm too high, I'll get killed. Oh yeah, where my audio stopped recording, I forgot to say I got an apple from, a, from the village. So maybe we can get some more because then I can make them into golden apples. What do you get from these books i'll get the books because i can trade my librarian for that uh, enchanted book i'm not gonna sleep because i need my elytra and it's another ocean is that a pirate ship no it's not are there any pirate ships under here though i think there's one over is there one over there yeah there is i think there's a pirate ship over there yeah that's definitely a pirate ship now i've got i don't know if i'm gonna go into it though because it looked quite deep and the easiest way to die in this game oh yes pillager tower Fucking finally. I'm not going to go into that pirate ship because the quickest way to die in this game is to drown. When you start suffocating and your health starts going down, it goes down so quickly. And let's be real, the loot isn't going to be that good. Okay, but we found a pillager tower though. That's good. That's one of two. We only need two. We only need to do two raids. So, oh shit, I've still got my elytra on. At least I can test if it respawn. Is that an iron golem? 
the f***? You know, I'm not gonna unleash him just in case he kills the captain and then I don't get a bad omen effect. I would be so pissed off if that happened. What the hell is this one? I've never seen a pillager tower like this before. I'll let him free once I've killed everyone. Let's go and kill the thing now. Ha, <laughs> perfect. Oh wait, there's another one. There's another two. Hopefully we can get some good loot. Oh, no, we didn't. Got a bottle of enchanting. They're all right, I guess. Wait, there's another one. They're all right. I mean, you get a bit of XP out of them, but it's barely any at all. And there's another pillager down there still. Get out of here. Any more? I think that's the most pillagers that I've ever seen. There you go, buddy. You're free. Or do you want me to put them back up? If you like it in there, you can stay in there. Yeah, you can get out now. I, I've i saved you. Nice. We saved an iron golem. I'd love to burn this place down, but I don't have a flint and steel. Oh, what the f- Two more! Three more! No, this is the this is the most pillaged I've ever seen in a tower. That is unreal. This don't make any sense. Have they respawned already? There's another one up there. What? Now I have to go back and do another raid. Let's start the journey back home. Oh, nice. Love seeing a little family of turtles. Have a nice day, guys. Hopefully I can find another tower on the way back. I know it's unlikely, but if I can find another one, it will help me because I can just go back to it afterwards. I'm only going to show one raid. I think I'll find the other tower off camera. I'll still record it and I'll show like the highlights of it in the next video. I think in the next video, I'm actually just gonna go down and kill the wither instead of like fucking around doing all this And I like playing this game offline because I don't have to talk or anything. I can just sort of chill. Oh God <laughs> Remember when I first encountered the phantoms and I what did I say? I think I said something like what the fuck? What is that? Is that a dinosaur looking back on it now that I know what they are it's fucking hilarious right, I'm back now so I'm gonna just put some stuff in my chest. What did I get from that journey? Oh, that's right, the bad omen effect. Put my uh, grave flowers for Mr. Netherpig's grave in there. We've got 59 arrows, that's good. That's really good, I'll use that to kill some of the witches and stuff. Right, let's do this raid, let's get it over with. Let's just get the totem of undying. Oh shit, it's already begun. All right guys, get inside. The fucking pillagers are gonna be spawning. Get inside. Okay, I need to ring the bell, don't I? Well, the first raid video that I did, they all spawned outside the outside the wall and they could not get in. Last time I did a raid in the last video, the mother f every single one of them spawned inside. It's okay, because they got slaughtered by my iron golems. But the fact that they spawned inside, it was kind of annoying, actually. You can tell when they're inside, though, because the number will go down. Here's the sorry bastards. Come on, let's get this over with. Oh, no, that ain't fair. Can you see that? My iron golem on the wall. I don't know how he got on the wall, by the way, because he weren't on the wall. Well, that ain't fair, is it? You can't do that. Okay, let's see where they spawn this time. Ugh, not on this side. So we've got... Oh, no, there they are. You know what I'm gonna do actually to speed this up? Because running around the wall takes forever. I'm gonna get one of my skeleton horses. The John Wick of Minecraft riding around on a skeleton horse killing pillagers. Sounds about right to me. Let's go. I'm ready. There they are. Oh, look at that. It's the rhino. I have no idea where the guy on top of him is, but... He's still hitting my iron golem. He got damaged a little bit, but that's fine. At least they're not spawning in the village this time. I really just hope they don't spawn in the village, because when the iron golems kill the guys with the totem of undyings, you've got no clue where they drop. Skeleton horse, you stay right there. I'm gonna take care of these guys. Okay, the reason why I got the bow is for these fuckers. I hate these guys. Like, stay away with your potions, please. Oh, his health's gone back up. Don't know how. What the f***? There's a witch in my house! Oh, I don't like that. You stay away from my animals. I like this tactic. Oh, I hate... Oh, thank God it didn't last that long. Usually it lasts, like, until it, you get to half a heart. And I hate it. Can you die already, please? There we go. Okay, I, I don't know where they are this time. But this should be the Totem of Undying, guys. Okay, not on this side. Well... Oh, no, 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 no. The f***ing raid's going down. Oh, shit. I don't know. I This ain't good because I don't know. I don't know if I just lost some Totem of Undyings from this. 
Look at that. What? Okay, they're over. Yes! See, look, it's a turn off and dying, guys. They're being killed, and I don't know. There's one. Enchanted book. Okay, I'm staying in here from now on because if they spawn in here, I need to be here. Uh, there's another dead body here. Okay, yeah, well, I know where the... I know you can tell where they are. They're on this side. But I don't think... I think that was it. I think there was only one turtle mother dying. Oh, new iron leggings. Don't mind if I do. Uh, there's a there's a magic guy. I'll kill you from a distance. Yeah, if you don't want to move, that's fine with me. Is that another magic guy? No, it's a crossbow guy. Back off. Please tell me the other guy's a magic guy. Oh, it's not. I'm really hoping for at least five Turtle Mother Dying's from this raid. I've only got two so far. Okay. Okay. Well, good job I got in the village, isn't it? Right, what, do I, what the fuck do I do? <coughs> Iron Golems, this is what I'm hiring you for. Oh, bollocks. Bro, that's, that got half my heart, half hearts down. Sorry, I can't f***ing speak. I know there's two. Right. No, 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 no. Come on, I ain't got him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Oh, there's another magic guy over there. Where's his totem? There. There's another totem. Yes. There might be another magic guy. There is. There is! Well, I've got five Totem of Undying masks, so I'm happy with that. I don't mean to be greedy or anything, but six or seven would be nice. I'll let the Iron Golem take care of you. Oh, yeah, that was the last round. Okay, well, we got five Totem of Undyings. That's That was my goal for the raid, so at least we got the minimum of uh, what we wanted. Oh, look at all these emeralds that are on the floor. Librarian, my friend. Are you offering any deals at the moment? Right, this man wants some books and, some, and 20 emeralds. Okay, stay there. I'll go get some books. We'll go see if the librarian can give me mending. I just, I have a feeling it isn't mending, because, I mean, a few emeralds and uh, some books for mending? You mean? Serious? Oh, projectile protection for- okay. Projectile pro they're both projectile protection- okay. Knew it weren't gonna be mending. Well, it was worth a try. At least I'm level 20, so I can probably get like- maybe I can get smite on my sword, I don't know. Anyway, I'm not gonna do another raid in this video, because this video's been very long, but what I'm gonna do before I end the video, I'm gonna build a grave for Mr. Netherpig, and I'm gonna burn the pillager banner. Oh, we've got another illager banner in this chest. Well, if I can burn three, then that's better than two. Burn. Burn. Burn! No, I picked one of them up on accident. I know exactly what I can do with this one. We'll uh, fill up this little pit full of lava, and then we'll ditch it in there. Gone. I didn't even see it go in, but it's gone. And we'll go make Mr. Netherpig's grave from the last video. Well, I'm not going to do it where the others are. I'm going to do it where he was found. He was, he's been under my village for months. I just saw his sword poking out of the ground. It was like the weirdest thing ever. I actually can't remember where it was. I think... I think it was here, wasn't it? You okay, Jason? I think it was here, because this bit is all, like, messed up. I think this is where I dug it up. Well, we can test it, because I can... Yep, this was definitely it. I'm going to put it just here. There we go. The grave is complete. Rip Mr. Netherpig. This was the OG Netherpig that came out of the portal, and he got slaughtered by an Iron Golem. Unrightfully so. If I still knew which Iron Golem did that, I would take him up to the tower and push him off. Because it was murder. I mean, that was illegal. You can't do that in my village. You know, you can't just murder innocent people. He never did anything to any of my villagers. But he's got a grave now in the village, just on top of where he was this whole time. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I'd say it was quite a successful video. I know it was kind of similar to my last one. It's the same plan, that's why. It's the same plan. My plan is to go down there with Totem of Undying, so I've got to do the same thing. It just didn't work the first time, but this time it will. But like I said, I'm going to do the next raid, or at least maybe I'll do the raid on camera, but I'm going to find the Pillager Tower off camera because it takes way too long and it ends up being a whole separate video. But in the next video, I'll do a raid, get the next few Totem of Undyings, and then kill the wither it will be the end of the wither saga finally that's assuming it goes to plan but yeah thank you for watching i hope you all enjoyed definitely subscribe if you're new here and i'll see you all in my next video